What's going on everybody? I know it's been a minute since I posted a video. March was slamming busy and this month is continuing to be the same. Uh, so that's a good good thing. It's a, it's a good problem. It's not really a problem. I don't really like saying that, but it's a good thing that's uh, when you're that busy. So um, I did pick up a new tool in the meantime. Uh, I got the Milwaukee half inch uh, right angle impact. Um, and I'm gonna pull you closer here uh, in just a minute. And then I've actually got a car I'm working on that I thought I'd show you uh, it in action. So the title of this video is Should You Buy It? Um, I actually posted a picture of, let's see, sorry. Posted a picture of, let's see if I can get this in there. So I posted a picture of this drawer uh, with all of my mostly battery powered stuff. Um, and it had my right angle impact. And it's funny, uh, most everybody asked about this tool. That was the most tool or the most questions I had on any tool in the toolbox was this one. Um, and when I bought it, same thing. I was just curious as to whether it was going to be good. I bought it with the intentions of knowing that it's not a tool that I'm going to use on every single job, especially out here in the Rust Belt. I'm in Ohio, uh, so we deal with a lot of rusted cars, um, and it doesn't have an amazing amount of power, um, but I knew that it would fill some voids, um, and that's exactly what it's done. I've used it for a little over a week now, um, and it's definitely filled some voids where I've needed it. Um, and so that's great. So I like it because sometimes I just don't want to use a ratchet. Honestly, it's not as fast. Uh, I don't like always having to manually break everything free if I don't have to, because sometimes there's not a lot, not a lot, uh, not sorry, geez, not enough swing space to break it loose. Um, if you want a video on a comparison of the ratchet and then the impact, you can go to How To Automotive. He does a really good video on this and the ratchet and kind of the, the pros and cons. In my opinion, if you don't have either and you're gonna buy one, I'd buy the ratchet first because it just comes in handy a lot more. I don't have the Milwaukee ratchet. I think they're too big, too bulky, and I can't stand that bar that you have to push to use it. Um, I prefer the snap-on ones with the little button and they're more narrow, they're a lot more smaller. Um, so that's more convenient. And then I have the Brute and the standard one and I use them both. I actually go for the Brute more often even though it's a little slower. So anyways, so yes, it, it's going to fill some voids for some spots and some certain jobs that you need that it will do really well on. I've used it on several brake jobs. Some it worked great, some it did not. Um, so then I still ended up having to get my ratchet or my impact out. And then there's sometimes the ratchet can't even break it free. Even with me uh, using leverage, I got to get out uh, one of my big impacts with a swivel or something. So, you know, I, I think that's the joys about this job in this industry or any of the trade industries is um, being able to buy different tools and having them on hand. So that way, when you need them in that situation, you have it. Um, I always say, if you're just starting out, don't go out and get into a ton of debt and buy all these tools. You don't have to. You can make do with just diff like the, the beginner tools. You can make do with air tools. You don't have to buy everything battery powered. Um, I've been in the industry for over 11 years now. I run my own shop uh, from just me. Uh, it's just me and my shop for now. Um, eventually, we'll bring on more people as we get busier. But So for me, it's a little different. I have to cater towards being in a shop by myself and I have no help. So a lot of times I need extra stuff because I don't have an extra set of hands. So no big deal. Uh, you make it, you make do with what you got uh, and you go from there. So this is the kit um, and it came with two of the two amp hour batteries. I highly recommend the bigger batteries and I actually just ordered, uh, Home Depot has a sweet deal for two six amp hour batteries and I think two two or two three amp hour batteries i can't remember exactly but you get four batteries for under 200 bucks uh and it's two of the six amp which is a smoking good deal so i use this one the three amp hour mostly um it just gives it more life basically it doesn't give it any more extra power or anything like that um shop tool reviews did a video on this um and kind of goes through uh everything um, these are fine and they give it power and whatnot. I mean, you sh it still works. They just die really fast. So anyways, all right, let's go over here. Sorry, I'm going to get you situated so that way you can see. Ugh. So I'm going to try to get you in right in on it. So I'm doing a timing belt on this Odyssey. 
and I'm gonna take off the uh, the mount bracket. So I thought, and I've already got everything set up. So one of them's 17 millimeters, uh, the long bolt, and then the other two are 14 millimeters. So we're gonna get in there and see if it'll break it loose. Broke it loose just fine. No problem, as you can see. So not bad, actually. And this car is not ultra rusted, so that makes a difference as well. But I've actually done this with two other cars now. Uh, same V6 engine and timing belt. Um, and it's broke them all free, no problem. And it does these really easy, so. Whoops. Hey, I heard it hit the floor. That's a huge bonus. You know, you're, you know, you should play the lottery when that happens. So yeah, so it took that off pretty easily. So I'm just gonna set that right there. So yeah, you can see, all right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring you guys back over here real quick. I wanna try to make this video shorter. I'm gonna put you right here and I'm gonna zoom back out and I'm gonna compare it. So that way you can try to, you can kind of get a, a size comparison. Let me pull you up here. So, snap-on, three-eighths, ratchet, right angle, half-inch, Milwaukee. So you can see it's obviously got some size. It's going to have to. It's an impact versus a ratchet. So this does not, it's an impact. So you cannot use it as leverage. It just free spins like a normal impact. These you can use as leverage. So if you're trying to break a, a bolt free and this won't actually break it free, you know, you just push on it and break it free if you can. Um, it's a good size. I honestly think it's a good size. I think honestly it'd be perfect and it would do even better with a little more power, maybe 30 or 40 more foot pounds. But I'm sure there's a reason that they didn't do that. I, you know, I don't know the engineering side of things. I'm sure there's warranty th sides of things. Um, you know, I honestly like Milwaukee. I have not had good experience with them, uh, with warranty and stuff like that. They warrantied out just fine, but I've had to send in a lot of their tools and get them warrantied. Um, and then if you know anything about Milwaukee batteries and the connection and stuff, this always seems to have issues connecting and my, my half inch impacts the same way, uh, bad connection. Well, whatever. You know what? The, the tool gets the job done. If I need it warrantied, I warranty it. It's a pain because I got to send it in, wait for them to send me another one. So I'm out of tool. Um, that's why I like the tool truck stuff, because if I break something or I need something instantaneously, I just get a hold of my dealer and I call him up and I'm like, hey, this broke. I need a loaner or I need a replacement right away. And either if he can, he'll bring it to me. If he can't, I'll go meet him and I'll get it off the truck. I've had that happen several times. Now, granted, not all tool truck dealers are the same. So obviously that's going to vary. But I always say it, it don't matter brand. Buy what works for you and whatever's going to help you get the job done. That is the key uh, to tools. Like I, I'm not, I'm not a, I'm not a brand specific guy. I am a loyalist. So if someone's taking good care of me, um, I want to support them. Um, so I do have a lot of snap on stuff, but, uh, I've also had good snap on dealers for the most of my uh, career. And so that's why I've bought snap on stuff. I actually just got my second ever Mac dealer. Um, and the Mac dealer I had before him really wasn't that good. Um, so I'm hoping this guy works out cause he's super cool, super nice. Uh, so hopefully it works out and I can continue to start adding some Mac tools to the, uh, to the lineup as well. So awesome. I appreciate you guys watching the video. I'm going to keep it short. Uh, as always, remember, man, we're all in the industry. We're all doing the same thing. We're all trying to get the job done and get it done right. Um, it don't matter who you're buying as long as it works for you. If you want to buy Harbor Freight tools and it works, that's fine. If you want to buy Milwaukee and it works, that's fine. If you want to buy Snap-on, buy them. It's fine. Buy what works for you. Who cares what everybody else thinks? Don't go on there trashing people. It is what it is. You know what I mean? It, we're all trying to get the same job done. We're all trying to make money, support our families. So love you guys. Appreciate you. Appreciate all my subscribers. Uh, if you have any questions about the impact specifically, feel free to read, uh, put them in the comments. If you like the video, like the video and uh, give it a thumbs up. 
and uh, feel free to share or comment, whatever, it don't matter. You know all that good stuff that everybody hits you up about in YouTube videos. So, all right, see you guys, have a great one.